And now let's look at the starfish. And besides refractional symmetry, actually, it has also rotational symmetry. And for rotational symmetry, the definition is that the, ob the object should overlap with itself for more than one time when it is rotated by 360 degrees. And now I can make a copy or a duplicate of the original starfish. And now this is the second one. And we can see that it can be overlapped with the first one. And now I'm going to rotate it to see how many times will it overlap with itself when it is rotated by 360 degrees. So this is the first time, second time, third time, fourth time, and the fifth time. That is, it is rotated by 360 degrees, it will overlap with itself for five times. And we can say that this starfish has a rotational symmetry of the order five. And therefore, the order of rotational symmetry actually means the number of times that the object overlaps with itself when it is rotated by 360 degrees. So therefore, it is quite easy to see that this rectangle has a rotational symmetry of the order 2. And this triangle, equilateral triangle, has a rotational symmetry of the order 3. And this one, a square, has a order 4 rotational symmetry. So finally, we can do a simple demonstration. So this is order 2 rotational symmetry. And this is all the three. One, two, three. And this is all the four. One, two, three, four. Overlap for four times.